Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Capable to Promise. This is a very powerful feature that allows salespersons the ability to project how long it'll take for their customer items to be produced. So if we go in and create a new sales order, we'll pick our customer. And we'll add a manufacturing item. And we're looking to sell a hundred of these, to the customer. Notice our requested date here from the customer. This is the requested date when the customer wants it. So let's say for example, they want it by the 28th of the month. If we save this, you'll see at the top, there's an actions menu called process CTP. This means process capable to promise. So if we move it over, you can see the item. There's one item on this order, so it's showing up accordingly. And if we check it and click process, Acumatica goes out. It creates a planned manufacturing order to determine how long it'll take to produce this item. So as it stands now, it's going to produce it. It's available today. If you scroll over to the right, you can compare with the dates requested dates and then at the top of the screen we did an action process that was to calculate the CTP date but you can decide to accept this which will convert it into a regular production order here or you can reject it in which case it'll instruct the production floor as to what to do now how do we come up with this date in the first place so 723 if we take a look, we can see the production order, the planned production order that Acumatica used to calculate this. Let's go over and take a look at that. So we'll go to production orders, production order maintenance, and we can see that 214 here. And if we open up our inquiries production detail, what you can see here is this is all came from the bill of materials. The bill of materials is our template for producing this item. So in order to produce this item, we have a work center that we use. Our work center is our capacity for producing this item. And of course we have materials required. Assuming the materials are available, which they are, you can see it down here at the bottom. Notice what we have here is a run unit of 10 units we can produce every minute. So we can produce these very fast, which is why it's taking all of a day or less to get this item created and to fulfill it for our customer sales order. But if we open up the item, we click this pencil here and we take a look at the stock item profile and we click on the manufacturing tab. First off, this is where you configure how you want your item to be manufactured. There's a bunch of settings here. One of them is the fact that this is a CTP item, meaning we can use the capable to promise functionality. That's checked here. But we talked about how a bill of material is the template for this. So if we click on the pencil here and we change the bill of material to do that, we'll put it on hold. And we change it so that in order to create one of them, it takes two hours. We'll take it off hold and we'll save it. And now if we go back, we'll open up the sales orders, find our sales order. We'll go back to actions process CTP. And again, we have a CTP date, remember 723. If we check this and click process again, when it's done, notice Acumatica changes it because now it takes a lot longer to get this item completed. Now there's a couple other tools here. If we go back 
to the item profile. And we look at that bill of material. A few other things to take a look at. So when we open up the work center, Acumatica has this. We talked about how long it takes to produce this item. Well, how does Acumatica know? If it takes, if we're producing so many of them in so many hours, what is it using as a guideline? Well, it looks at the shift info and it uses a basis for capacity as crew size. So when we're looking at our shift info, we have three people in one shift. That shift is defined in this calendar one here. You can see it. And then we have another shift. That's our night shift. And there's two people there. We also have an efficiency factor. The efficiency factor allows us to tweak our efficiencies with these different crews. You may find that even though there's three people in the day shift, maybe they're a little bit more distracted. Maybe they're not as trained as the night crew. In which case, you can tweak these numbers and produce different results from your different crews. Additionally, if we go back to our main menu and we look for work center capacity, work center capacity is an inquiry screen that shows you your work center and the different scheduled dates. First off, you'll notice the total scheduling blocks. So scheduling blocks that you can set them up into increments in the production preferences. So currently we have it in half an hour increments. But you get an idea of how many planned blocks, how many schedules are in planning, how many are actually scheduled and ready to go, and what do you have available? Now if we click on this date, Acumatica opens up the work center schedule. And what you can see here is every single time we're tasking that work center and how many schedule blocks we're using, what the resource sizes are, you can see it's broken by shift, and how many total hours. This gives you a bird's eye view into how Acumatica is calculating that schedule and how you can make changes. So you make your changes, you can refresh and continue to fine tune it until you get a good handle on the system and how changes are impacting the entire schedule. So now if we go back to our sales order and we go into process CTP, in this case, the capable to promise date is 729. So we can go back to the customer and ask them if they're okay with it being delivered on July 29th or whatever leeway time we need to ship it out to the customer. And assuming we're okay with it from a manufacturing standpoint, we can accept this, check it off and click process. We remove the hold. Now you can see our production order and it's a regular production order. This production order, if opened up or through our mass processing screen, we can now release this order to the shop floor and start working on it. So that's it. That's Acumatica's Capable to Promise. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this or any other feature in Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.